to Barton Stadium, the ground on which they achieved their first ever North West Counties Premier Division point last season, when a late Steve Corris penalty rescued a 1-1 draw. The only change in the lineup from Wednesday night's defeat to Main Road sees debutant Daniel Hand coming at right back for Anthony Brown. Matthews skips away from Picton, tries to find Bennett, but he goes back to the Looks up, spots Jones off of his line, tries to go from distance, and he isn't too far wide. His delivery is poor, and it doesn't even reach the near post, and Foy can clear it for Winsford. Adams dropped in possession. Ball forward searching out the one of Egan. Williams is quickly off of his line to clear. It's going to come through to Lawless and it could be a chance for the Reds to take an early lead. Lawless faced by Jones. Keeper makes a save. It slides Madden to turn it in and claim his first goal for the AFC Liverpool to give the Reds the lead with just nine minutes on the clock. Claiming offside against John Lawless, but there's no flag raised by the official. It appeared though that the chance is gone when Jones closed him down, but Lee Madden played the role of the classic striker, starting in to poach and give the Reds the lead. Picton takes it away from Keogh and plays it forward to Madden. Hands up the challenge and McLean to give it back to Picton. There's a chance for a great come for the Reds if the right ball can be played. As Picton sprays it out wide to find Barry. Cuts inside McDonald. Chance for a second goal, but Maynard is across to cover. It's good pressure from both Barry and Madden to win that possession for the Reds. And then McDonald, the right back, comes down Madden, concedes the free kick. Just been taken quickly, but good way to Keo. He looks up, plays a ball forward, looking for the run of Matthews. Corner of the box, he lobs Williams, and the ball drops into the corner. And wins for the United the level. And he went behind for long. Absolutely, the manager Paul Moore looks on and questions why Lee Madden took the free kick so quickly when there was no need to. For the shot, and it evades Williams, drops into the back of the net. And this would you like to take the lead in disappointing fashion from AFC Liverpool's point of view. From defence to attack, and two passes with no challenges forthcoming. No pressure on Brian Matthews as he lined up his shot. I think Carl Williams will be disappointed with his positioning and trying to make the save. Matthews on the half volley, smashes it past Williams into the top of the net. And wins for United take the 3 1 lead on the stroke of half time. That was a fine strike from Brian Matthews to complete his hat trick. It's a disappointing goal to concede from the FC Liverpool's perspective. From goal kick to goal in just over 10 seconds, and no challenge on the ball. Harris looking for the run of Lawless, but claims that the interception. Bring it, bring it, forward looking for well, but doesn't find it. He pick up the second ball. Gives it to Welbeck. Faces the challenge of Harris. Looks inside to Egan. He gives Welbeck a good save. Ball into the box. Picks out Keo. Who's in acres of space. And he had no trouble. Heading past Williams to extend Vince with United's lead. Shocking defending again. Keo in the centre of the box. Six yards out. And no one within touching distance of him. He couldn't be. 
this. Duckworth with the delivery. Oh, oh, again, doesn't oh, quite find him. It rebounds to the number oh, 10 though, but he puts it just wide. Working some away from Matthews. Ball yeah. inside. Oh, 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 ball four looking for the run of Egan. Norris oh, with a header doesn't quite make it. Egan looks a lot. Williams gets a hand to it, but Egan will get there ahead of Williams. To not get into the net for a simple finish. And it's Pittsburgh United 5. AFC Liverpool 1. Challenge rocks out of Groves, then finds Matthews. He's got plenty of room in which to run into. Towards the box, and still no challenge. He races past Sinner, crossing to the box, deflects to Will Beck, and it's going to be 6 1 against the United. Second goal, which was a fine side footed curling effort into the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big second one. McLean wins the header against Brown and even races to the ball first. And spins away from two halves. Then plays in the ball for well back to run on to. He's escaped the attentions of the defence. He rounds Williams. He knocks in his second of the match. Winsford United 8. And this is going to be AFC Liverpool's worst ever defeat. Uh, great win for you today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. The, 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 the score flattered us slightly, but yeah, it was a good win. Good performance. Good bounce back from Tuesday. Number 11, Brian Matthews had a good game. He did all right. He did all right. He's not been firing on all cylinders last couple of games, but you know now he's uh, he's back on track, and that's how he should be every game, to be honest. And uh, Wayne Wellbeck came on, uh, had a good half. He's not done too bad. Yeah, this is his first outing because obviously he pulled his hamstring pre-season. It's good to get him back in, and he does what he does best, which is uh, terrorise centre halves. Uh, your first season here at Winsford. Uh, how's it going for you so far? It's been great. The committee's been great. You know. Whatever I've asked for, I've got really, and it's just up to me to try and get the results on the pitch, so no complaints. And uh, looking forward to the rest of the season after today? Yeah, obviously, different teams bring up different challenges. You know, I knew Liverpool wouldn't be an hard team to beat because I went and watched them against Main Road, and you know, they grafted well. And like I say, they got one or two goals against them, and the Reds went a little bit, and we took advantage of that. But you know, Paul will get into the ribs and he'll make things better, so to speak. But yeah. I'm quite happy just to get a decent win under our belts, to be honest. Instead of a close game like we've been doing, so, yeah. Thank you very much. No worries, thank you. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> if you don't, I'm buggered. Um, in all honesty, um, we started out OK the first 10 minutes. Scored a goal on the front foot. Then, lo and behold, we decided to take a quick free kick when no-one's ready. They go and score and we don't get back from it. Uh, but today, unfortunately... There's been a, a good few of them have proved to me that they're not good enough. In, uh, in, in reality, that's a fact. Um, I'll obviously have to sit down now and have a good think about it. I thought, you know, OK, you know, if I want to look for an excuse, I've got, like, obviously, my, my defenders are all injured. I've got, like, four midfielders playing two centre-half, one right-back, one left-back, but at the end of the day, they still they play football. All they're doing is the same job, but just a little bit further back. Uh, so that's going to be an excuse then. It's an excuse, but today I'm so, so, so disappointed. 
and like I said, uh, I'll be having a few words with one or two of them because they've proved to me today. Not, not, not so much. You know, I always have a little saying. I mean, I'm not taking nothing away from Winsford, uh, but it's how you get beat. Just don't lie down. Uh, and I, and I felt from, you know, everyone just seems to have their heads down. We you know, look, that's football that happened. You know, we we've gone and won six six three last week. Could have been six one. Credit to Blackpool at the time, they bounced back at Wigan in midweek. We win, get beat midweek, and now it's followed on to here. Um, is there any positives? No. No, not much uh, The negatives, obviously, there's plenty of negatives, uh, but I'll go and have a word with them in the dressing room, uh, sort one or two things out. But, well, you know, I've always asked them, you know, I'm honest, I've asked them for that honest performance, and I haven't even got, I haven't even got the H. Uh, so, I don't know, I, d I really don't know what to say, Paul, uh, because I'm dumbfounded, to be fair. Really dumbfounded. And I haven't done none of these lads any bad, uh, but today they've embarrassed me, they've embarrassed the football club, and they've embarrassed the people at Boston. Uh, it seemed as though winter goals weren't really especially hard to create for them. Because we haven't put pressure on the pitch all over, and that's one thing I discussed uh, when we got here. We had a good, a good 40 minutes talking about pressing the ball all over the areas. And I, and I think um, one or two of them are unfortunately starting to read about themselves with the little bit of praise that they've had early, early in the season and, and pre-season. Uh, but reality's come to them now. Reality, you know, whatever formation they try and play, at the end of the day, you're supposed to be a decent player, go and play the football. But one thing I do always ask for this football club, the people that run it, the people that support it, and myself, is give it effort. If you can't give it effort, then you've got no chance. You've certainly got no chance with me. And today, far, far, far too many didn't want to work. I think, to be honest, they're thinking of going this V Festival or whatever it is, because that's the talk. Well, they can stay there, because I won't put up with it. And I know I said it to the night, and it hurts me today. It's the hardest day of my life being an AFC Liverpool manager. And it's not nice, uh, because it does hurt me. But, you know... I'm big enough and ugly enough to trust myself down and I will change the thing. It'll be changed by Wednesday. If, uh, you know, especially if I get one or two injuries back, it'll be changed there uh, because, like I said earlier on, there's a few out there that are just not good enough. <coughs> um, 12 goals in two games. It's not looking good at the back, is it? Well, no, I mean, again, you know, I can use the excuse that I've got midfielders playing there and they're doing me a job. I can be overcritical if I want, I mean, but at the end of the day, some of the goals could have all been prevented and the 12 goals that you, you, you know, you rightly said, they all could have been prevented. Um, you know, but I'll look at that side again. Um, but even going forward today, you know, apart from the first 15 minutes, it, it was good. It was good until we done what we've done. And then we've crucified ourselves because, OK, it's gone to 1-1, how do you react? Well, they react so negative, and and you know it's nice to say and and say, well, is it my fault? Is it my formation? Is it no? It's not. It's not. The, they've all got had the job to do, and they haven't done it. From one man to the well to the 13. To be fair, Chris Brown, come on. To be fair, did the kid and worked his socks off for 20 minutes. That's what it's all about. And I know it's only 20 minutes, but he set a tone. Danny Wilkinson, come on, set a tone. You know, but we have to have a look, and I look. I will look at it because. Uh, they won't be going on for a bit because I've got a few last things to say to them. Um, was this uh, a lower feeling that you ever had at any time last season when, even though you were losing, it was only by the odd goal? Yeah, I mean, when, when I lost all them games last year, the one thing I got off the lads was honesty. And I never got honesty today. That's the disappointment. And I feel very, very let down. Uh, and, it's, you know, we, we've been well up to 8-1. You know, but I'm not being funny. Every goal, if you look at a video, could have been prevented. And it's just, you know, like I've always said, just, if you're honest with me, I'm honest with you. Give me an hour and a half of your time, you know, and, and the club try and look after you in, in the last specs. I, I just, I'm just lost for words in the sense of I just can't believe that that side went out, a side that I picked and performed in such a negative way. It's, it's untrue. Do you just uh, write this one off and then just have a clean slate come Wednesday? Well, it's got to be clean because I'll be out in the month tomorrow and I'll be getting players hopefully signed in and, and want to do it. And, you know, people, I said I said that last week, I'm not waiting for 10 games and, and 8 games and 9 games. I want them in the, uh, the ground run and if it's not, if they're not off for it, then they'll go. Uh, because, again, I get questioned. I get questioned as man, uh, manager, I get questioned as a person. 
Uh, and I think I'm an all right person. I think I'm an all right manager. But sometimes, you know, other managers probably have the same feeling where they've had a bad day at the office, if you like. But all we ever ask for is just give us a little go. Have a go for me. Have a go for the club. And I never got that today, and that's the disappointing thing. They just slide down and just got walked all over. Full stop. And again, I can only apologise to people that come and watch this football team because that's so not me to have that type of person playing on that football pitch. I won't have it. And again, you know, it's easy to sit there and go, oh, I feel sorry for myself, this, that and the other. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'll just touch myself down because I'm a strong-willed character and I'll, I'll just move forward and I'll keep going forward. But it's just a pity that we started off in pre-season well. We started off first league game well. OK, I've had some injuries, but we've got to sort it out. And I'll sort it out sooner rather than later. Uh, this is just a major, major blow today uh, for myself personally. Uh, I haven't enjoyed one minute of it. That is all right, though. Yeah, thank you very much.